So in this video, we're going to talk about arrangements from like objects. Uh, so for instance, how many ways can the word parallel be rearranged? So uh, generally, if all of the letters in the word parallel were different, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, uh, it would be a very straightforward question um, because we're just asking uh, seven, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'd just be saying eight permute eight, which is just going to be eight factorial, which is some large number. 40,320. But it's more complicated than that because there are some like objects. And for instance, if I swap the uh, L with the P, Laralep, uh, that's going to look identical to swapping this L with this L and then swapping this P with that L. That's still going to be Laralep. Um, so that because of the three L's and the two A's, those like objects, this number is going to be greatly reduced. So we need to come up with a, a correcting factor for that. So here's the formula I'm going to use. Uh, N factorial over N1 factorial times N2 factorial dot 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 times NR factorial. Now N1 equals the number of like objects in group 1. N2 is the number of like objects in group 2. N R obviously is the number of in group R. So in this particular question now, it's actually going to be equal to 8 factorial over uh, the number of like objects in group 1. So group 1 I'm going to say are my A's. There's two like objects there in the group of A's. So that's going to be 2 factorial. Uh, now I have 3 L's. And so I can say that there are 3 like objects in group L or group 2. Now, the other groups, there's a third group here, a fourth group here, a fifth group here. I could write those in, but think about what would happen. I've got um, a group with one object in it, uh, so that's going to be just one factorial, which is just one. A group with one object, one. A group with one object, one. So if I say times one factorial, times one factorial, times one factorial, that's just times one, times one, times one. So it's not necessary. We only need to add in those n factorials if there's more than one thing in the group. All right, so finally, we can type that into our calculator and we'll get 3,360, again, greatly reduced based upon the fact that it's indistinguishable whether you're using that L or that L or that A or that A.